Windows helps you organize your files and folders so you can easily access them. It also has a search feature that makes it easy for you to locate a file you do not know where it was saved. Hi friends, I am Casey Kemak. Today you will learn the basic operations on files and folders. Please quickly click on the subscribe button before you proceed. Files can be created with popular application software such as Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, CorelDRAW, etc. Each of these programs creates a file with a unique icon and file extension name such as .docx, .xlsx, .cdr, .ps, etc. So you can tell a program you used to create a file by its icon or file extension or both. A folder is a directory or container that is used to store files and other folders. Windows allow us to create folders so that we can easily organize our files and folders. However, it first created important folders that should be useful for our file storage. Some of these folders include desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, windows, etc. By default, documents are saved in the documents folder, images are saved in the pictures folder, and downloads in the downloads folder. If you decide that you don't want to save your files directly in the default folder or want to organize your files so you can easily access them, then you can create your own folder. You can create a folder in any of the default folders including a storage device. Storage device here refers to hard disk drive or SSD, memory card, flash drive and CDs etc. This simply tells you that you can create a folder in a folder. Windows Explorer helps us to perform the basic operations on files and folders. Let us quickly look at some of the some of the operations you can perform on files and folders. You can perform the following operations in, on files and folders in Windows Explorer. You can create a file or folder. You can delete a file or folder. You can copy a file or folder. Compress a file or folder. You can rename a file or folder, etc. Now, to do each of these things, the process is almost the same. So when you learn one of the process, you can follow the same procedure to do each of them. How do you create a file in Windows Explorer? It's a very simple process. To create a file in Windows Explorer, you go to Windows Explorer by clicking on the folder icon or from your desktop, you locate your files using the name of your computer or you go to this PC. Then when your folder opens, you see locate the toolbar, the folders toolbar. Then here you see new. Now to create a file using Microsoft Word, you just select Microsoft Word icon here. Then new Microsoft Word appears. Then you can now type a name for the let me say doc for x then i have created an empty microsoft word file when you open it you cannot be able to work on it okay to create a folder you still follow the same procedure but this time around you select folder when you select a folder you notice that the new folder appears then you delete the name new folder and type a name example folder and press enter on the keyboard now you have created a new folder To 
rename a file or folder, you simply select the file or folder you want to rename. Then on the toolbar, you see the rename icon. You click on it. You notice that the name is highlighted. You delete it and you type a name. A new folder. A name for the folder and press enter. Similar, the same thing happens to file. You can also right click on the folder or file and select rename. I'm using Windows 11 here. You select show more options, then you now click on rename. Then you can still follow the same procedure. Now, if you want to delete a file or folder, you simply select the folder. On the toolbar here, you see delete icon. You click on delete. It is completely deleted. Now, in some windows, you will first of all be asked to confirm that you want to delete the, folder, the file or folder. Then you click OK on the dialog box. Now, whatever you delete will be sent to recycle bin. Will be sent to recycle bin. To recycle bin. So you can easily recover your file or delete it permanently. Now, this is what I deleted. Now you can easily recover the file. Now if I want to restore the file, I will click on restore. You can say restore all items or restore the selected item. Now if I click restore the selected item, the folder will be restored back to the actual location where it was before. Now you see, to the exact location where it was before, a new folder here now. Okay, but if you want to delete it completely from the system, you can as well right click on it and select delete and it's deleted. Then you can go to recycle bin and select it and you will now say delete. And it's asking you, are you sure you want to permanently delete this folder? You say yes. Now, another means is instead of deleting and going to the recycle bin, you can as well select the file, hold the shift key and press delete on the keyboard. Then it will ask you, are you sure you want to permanently delete this file or folder? Then you click yes. If you want to, then when you click yes, the file or folder is deleted completely and it will not be located in the recycle bin you see recycle bin there is no sign of that file deleted now you can as well do some other operations such as copy move compress hide now for example you can click on more here you see you can copy, you can cut, that is something as move, you can compress your file, you can as well hide your file by clicking on the properties and you select hidden and the file will be hidden and so on and so forth. So whatsoever you want to do, you can easily do that by right clicking on the file or the folder and you get it done. Having learned this, I love to hear from you. What operations would you love that I teach you instead? What did you want to learn next? Please use the comment box below. Before you leave, do not fail to click on the subscribe button. Thank you.